I want to answer the, a lot of the questions. So, first of all, the report from government is just a report from government. There will have to be legislation following, uh, and actually the bill which we debated here mandates that the Minister of the Day has to reflect in the report that he gives to government what the outcome of the plebiscites are, uh, and the legislation on establishing the role will go into the absolute detail in, with regard to uh, pay in particular, but also the extent of, of, of functions. The issue on lack of information is the classic political red herring for when there's no argument against something. Um, the Referendum Commission on, on Divorce hasn't uh, launched its campaign yet. The Plebiscite Commission launched its campaign in the three here, here. cities on Monday. Here, here. And the public information were restricted by McKenna and McChrystal in terms of the um, information that the government can put out. Uh, so we have to give both sides of the argument. I haven't seen any other political groupings um, launch or even moot a launch here, here. of campaigns on the issue. Here, here. And I really like Senator Boyne's contribution, and I do get on with it. But um, most of it had nothing to do with the regulations to do with this issue. It said that I sat on a report on LPT. Nothing to do. I mean, it's, the, it's with the Department of, of, of Finance. Um, there's been no sitting, I can assure you. The Morehouse report. Um, there was multiple consultations with representative groups of the councillors, um, and the position was felt by those groups that that report shouldn't be published in during. A, a local election campaign, yeah, yeah. and I mean, if you were if you were in touch with your councillors, um, perhaps you might you might be aware of that. Um, and the idea that what the people are being asked for is effectively a public consultation on the question of whether they favour the idea of a directly elected mayor in those three areas, uh, nothing more and nothing less. And I mean, if you state that your position is that you do favour such a role, then the idea that you're campaigning against it—I mean, it just. I mean, hypocrisy exists in politics, I but that, 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 that would be a rank hypocrisy. The powers of the um, elected mayor. I'd have a bust in the And I also wanted to, final point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has to be final. We already, already voted this issue. In relation to what's contained in the report, and the report is clear, and Senator Coffey asked a good question. Absolutely clear. There will be, this is about a rebalancing of the functions between the unelected executive of a council and what has been heretofore a ceremonial role as mayor. Yeah, yeah. There will be no removal, and I, in my two years, haven't taken a single power yeah, off yeah. council. Yeah, yeah. And the Moorhead report will recommend giving more powers yeah, yeah. to council. Well um, no, that's not yeah, true. Yeah. It's it's take power off. Please. Of well but, um, is, is the motion agreed to? Maybe, yes. maybe, Minister, you might correct the record of the House. No, powers where have been taken off local authorities and local councillors over is, the last two years. Is the motion agreed to? They have not. Yeah, they, have. they have not. We've moved the Department on all the 100 units. Motion agreed. Okay.